Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at uh, number 10 washers, Mithra Magic for the uh, tarantula. So, one of the things I've been using tarantula a little bit, and it's uh, been pretty good actually for the money, so can't, can't complain. One of the things though, it, it, the wheels have been pretty tight on it, and uh, I don't think it's doing the best it can with the wheels being that tight. Now, I've looked on the internet, and, and it, you know, depending on who you look at, it kind of, in what kit you get, it kind of shows a couple different things. So, mine came with a lock washer and a precision shim. And what I did is, I put, is typically what you do is you put the precision shim in, inside the, uh, make sure I get in the frame here, inside here, and then the other bearing goes on. And that kind of spaces it out a little bit. And then, but what happens is you really should have another shim on the outside of here where the bolt comes in. Now, the bolt kind of makes contact with the race and the bearing, but that's still not pretty solid. And I don't like how the offset that, that the bearings have to the wheel. So, one of the things I did was doing a little research on the internet. And I came across, you know, using number 10 washers as, as an internal shim. And so, basically what you do is you pop the wheel apart, and, and probably the easiest way to pop these wheels apart if you've already assembled them is to take something like the Allen wrench, which I used to remove it, stick it in there and catch the precision shim, you know, in there, and just kind of push it or tap it with a hammer and pop it out, and that's, that's what I've done with this. However, then take the, take the number 10 washer, place it in there, place your wheel in, your bearing into the wheel, now, you really can't see, but now the wheel is standing a little bit proud of the, um, uh, of the actual Durlin or whatever uh, this is. Now, one of the things, this is, I think, going to make it a little bit asymmetric. So, one of the pieces that I would suggest doing in doing this is putting the asymmetric piece to the inside or making sure all the asymmetric pieces are matched and for me I'm putting it to the inside. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this precision shim I'm going to put it on the bolt I'm going to insert it in here and then what I'm going to do is take the lock washer put it on there on the back side and then I have my my plastic shim and then I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to reinsert it and assemble it. And I'm going to put my nut on the back side. And then I can tighten this up. Now, one of the things this will do is allow me to tighten this up far more than I had before. So I actually had to have these somewhat loose to. Um, so they turn freely, and which wasn't which wasn't good because it, it added extra slop to the carriage, and so by doing it this way, it seems to work. Now I've done a couple wheels already, just to kind of see before I did this video to see if it was worth doing, and I, I'm pretty impressed. So again, I just want to summarize a couple points. If you already have the wheels in, and and you go to take them out. Um, and you put the shim in, since it's going to be a little bit thicker than the shim you're probably taking out, make a note if the wheel is a little asymmetric, and then make sure they all line up. And it's only going to be by a very, very small amount, but again, you want them to match as closely as possible. And so again, for me, I've put them to the back side. Uh, put the precision shim on the front. If you have the two lock washers, put a lock washer on the front, lock washer on the back, number 10 washer in the middle, and again, to pop it out, I suggest taking the wrench, kind of offsetting the precision shim, sticking this into the bearing, opening and tapping it. It also helps if you rest it against something to pop it out. Uh, so far, I like what I see as far as the movements of the wheels I've changed so far. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to change all these out. I'm not going to bore you with showing you that, but I did want to share this. Is Again, I, I do think that there's a little bit of magic to the number 10 washer in the um, uh, TiVo wheel. So again... So far, I've been happy with it. Uh, I'll come back um, in a future video, maybe do some prints, let you know kind of when I do a summary of some of the other stuff because I, I've got a lot of other upgrades I want to do to this machine and that I want to cover out in future videos. So we'll take a look as we go through. Anyways, hopefully you found this helpful and valuable, especially if you have one of these. If you did, hey, give me a thumbs up, show me you like it, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.
please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.